Egy szerény hang. Paula was born in Budapest, Hungary, November 19, 1897. Paula, all of four feet eight inches tall, traveled all around the world and photographed with a Rolleiflex camera until the age of 85. Paula was asked, "Why do you think you've lived to 100 years old?" She said, "I don't think about it. Do you worry?" She said, "I never worry about situations I can't control. I do what I can do, and then whatever happens, happens." So why a story about an unknown artist photographer who just turned 100 years old? In life, it's not important to be rich and famous, but to follow one's passions and live life to one's fullest potential. This is true success. Paula Wright worked really hard and lived the American dream. Tehát miért is beszélünk egy ismeretlen fotóművészről, aki most lépett életének századik évében? Az életben nem a pénz és a hírnév a legfontosabb, hanem az, hogy a szenvedélyének hódolhasson az ember a legteljesebb odaadásson. Paula valóban keményen megdolgozott ezért, és megélte az amerikai álmot. Hello, my name's Lauren Ellis, and I'm a friend of this lovely lady next to me. Her name is Paula Wright, and it's my honor to introduce you to Paula. She celebrated her 100th birthday on November 19th, 1997, and she's a very accomplished photographer and a friend of mine for 10 years. So I thought it would be interesting to meet her and hear what she has to say about her life and to see some of her work. And I'd like to introduce Paula. Paula, say hello. Hello. Can you explain this photograph a little bit? Can you see? It, that is a Hungarian village and the man is taking care of all the cows in a Hungarian village. The girl came uh, from the um, taking water. A Hungarian village, a poor old woman with her dog and she didn't care much about me taking a picture so it is very natural. Paula's traveled all over the world. I had a, mm -hmm. few, a few nice trips. Do you like to travel Paula? Sure. Paris, France. Kissing. What year were you in Paris, Paula? Do you remember? Oh, this That's is one of my trips. Mm -hmm. But I was very glad to have this mm -hmm. picture, you know, this pose because two young people kissing and love is something you know what belongs to france <laughs> <laughs> yes vive la différence as they say mm. enchanted with the uh, street scenes that she found here in New York. Paula, being a quiet and private person, never was obtrusive when photographing. Her interaction with people in environments was limited and distant. Even the photograph she took of Albert Einstein was a candid and distant one. In the studio, it was a different matter. She put on her professional cap and commanded the situation in her polite, soft-spoken style. Her favorite subject to photograph was dogs. Little did I know that time would pass and that she would eclipse, would outlive all of the great Hungarian photographers um, of her generation. Uh, this is a, a, a couple al an album cover and a CD cover Paula did of, for Talking Heads. Tell us about this commission, Paula. I just got the order to make a painting of a monkey. And we were so satisfied that I got the second order. So, Paula, say a few words about what you think of my work. I thought that your work is very different from the average work. And Thank it you. was very, very interesting and absolutely different from our work, what I knew in photography. You've done some photo retouching for Richard Avedon, a very famous photographer here. And could you please tell us what work and how you met him and what you did for Richard Avedon? I did some work for him and I got recognition. I had a beautiful uh, uh, book, his own book, what he sent me, this recognition of good retouching. Um, in the apartment here we're sitting, there's some photographs on the walls and also some paintings and drawings Paula did, portrait drawings yes, that you did in painting. painting. For portraits, what I had done in painting. 
Thank you, Paula. Thank you very much. Paula Wright's photographs are also in the collections of the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the Museum of the City of New York, and the Brooklyn Museum. Being a friend and colleague of Paula's for over 10 years, and listening to her wonderful stories of traveling and photographing around the world, and finding out she turned 100 years old, inspired me to write and film her story with my friend and investor, George Lamboy of Regal Entertainment. However famous I may be in my lifetime or after my lifetime, I will always be a tiny voice like Paula and all the artists through time, but a voice that will hopefully encourage our younger generation to work really hard and follow their dream like Paula did and share the healing power of their art with all. Thank you. Paula több mint tíz éven át ismertem. Barátjaként és kollégájaként számtalan gyönyörű történetét hallgathattam végig. Amikor Paula száz éves lett, barátommal, George Lamboyjal elhatároztuk, hogy filmre visszük élete történetét. Bármilyen hírnévre is teszek szert életemben vagy azután, csupán egy szerény hang maradok. Azt a szerény hangot szeretném megőrizni, amilyen Pauláé és művésztársaié volt. Egy szerény hang, amelynek ereje reményeim szerint lelkesíti a fiatal generációkat, és arra inspirálja őket, hogy kövessék álmaikat, a művészet iránti alázattal dolgozzanak, ahogyan azt Paula tette, és vigyék tovább a világban a művészet gyógyító erejét. Köszönöm. So I did work really a long time and I always enjoyed it.